Hey guys, what's up? Baka Monkey Fun here doing a quick test and review of Shadow of Mordor. The amount of times I've called it Shadows of Mordor is friggin' ridiculous. Um, uh, the card... Ooh. Mini battle. Take them! Take them, you little beasts. Or giant beasts, and be free. Run through the prairie like the majestic animals you are. Um, the card. Uh, the card actually gets daunted by this. It, there's a lot of random frame rate drops. It, it says it's recording at 80 frames a second, but I know for a fact it's not going to last. There's a lot of frame rate drops and everything like that. Um, I noticed if I overclock my card slightly, I don't know if this is a small overclock. It seemed like a small overclock to me because it didn't like it was wasn't putting a lot of oh right there frame rate drop, boom. Um, it wasn't putting a lot of power it seemed to the GPU. Um, it was 106% power prioritization and um, 125 megahertz increase on the GPU and then 225 megahertz increase on the GPU memory. Um, it, they might optimize it later on through updates and stuff like that so maybe I won't have to play with my card overclocked but overclocking it to that setting slightly it actually, well, not slightly, it actually solves completely the problem but I don't recommend overclocking or like overclocking, but for some reason these newer games require it. People are saying like, oh you don't need that much memory on a GPU for it to do that, but actually I think you do, and oh, killed him, he's done for. Um, but I think you do, oh right there, frame rate drop. So maybe it's good to have an overclocked system, I don't know, maybe I should dual SLI or something later on in my life, I don't know. Um, to the game. The storyline is pretty complex. Uh, you're, it's explaining what happened to this guy's family and what he's going to do to avenge whatever happened. I think they they were murdered by a set of war chiefs, I think. And he's trying to f kill his way to the top and, yeah, you know, kill the war chiefs. And then there's the storyline that's behind the ring wraith that has possessed him. And that storyline is, um, Smeagol, you run into Smeagol, like in every friggin' movie. You run into Smeagol, and he actually praises the, uh, the Wraith spirit, calls him master and all that, and, uh, he helps you find memories of the, um, Wraith spirit, and it actually helps explain later on in the game who actually the events that unfolded to create the rings and specifically who created the rings uh, yeah who actually specifically created the rings I don't know why I was probably trying to finish off that sentence with a fancy word um, so that's I don't want to spoil that for you so that's pretty much the storyline of the game what I've discovered so far into how the game progresses, thinks, and works. As you can see, that orc is wildly flailing his head like every other crazy crackhead does. Um, uh, see, if you notice the guy with the green symbol above his head, I don't want to kill him. So I kind of want to show how this works. Okay, um, okay, that guy's dead. Okay, now let's... Okay, now I can interrogate him, drain, or shank. I'm going to interrogate him. Because that symbol means, that green symbol you just see, means he can give me information on the commanders or war chiefs. Okay, let's see if we get some intel on the war chiefs. Okay, as you can see, the graphics are really good. I mean, it, it doesn't really surprise me on why my card is daunted when I play this game. This is the base clock. I'm not overclocking it, by the way. Um, ooh, he's missing an arm. Um, uh, okay, power level 10. When you, when you get to these guys, these power levels, like power level 10, nothing works. Like, you can sneak attack, all that stuff, distance attack, none of that works for these guys. Okay. And yeah, none of that works for this, this level or this level. Maybe some sneak, I think some sneak attacks work for this level. Almost all sneak attacks and distance attacks work for this level how the game progresses this isn't how you, this isn't one of those games you just go in here's a hit list and kill all these guys find information if you want to get better advantages over these guys or it's like some people do they just go around run into people and kill them it doesn't work that way um 
rat bag, this guy right here, I help get to the top, so he's going to give me information about people, I think, later on in the game, hopefully. But how this system right here works, if I get killed enough times, or I, I don't know, something, somebody will replace him, a new character will replace him. If I get killed enough times by this guy, he will take one of these spaces. If I kill, say, this guy, anyone that took that has one of these spaces will move up to his space. Another thing, if all these guys in the second row are involved in killing me, they will either rank up, if not, they will power up, which really makes it a bit more difficult. And it's not like you go in and be like, okay, I'll be faster and a bit more brutal with a few more uh, attacks. Some of these guys I've had to completely rethink the strategies I've done to fight these guys. You, so when he gets to this level right here, there's no sneak attacks, whatever, like I mentioned. You have to go head on, and you're either going to take on a group of people, or if you get them, what is it, alone, then it'll be easy. But a suggestion, don't let anybody with a crossbow, spears, or shields advance. Don't. Big tip. Big tip. Don't let anybody like these guys right here advance. Sucks. Because you got to dodge them from a distance. Or if they do advance, try and get them alone. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, um, I'm gonna give this game a 10 out of 10 due to the fact of the progression, because there's people that said, oh, this game constantly progresses and it's gonna take a while to be like Skyrim. But that game just chooses characters for you to kill, which I th feel is pretty easy for modern games to do. This game, though, picks new people for you to kill and increases their power through however many times you kill. I'm pretty, I think on one time I got killed and there were people that weren't even involved that got ranked up and powered up. So sometimes you just get screwed over no matter what. So I feel this is truly the first thinking progressive game that, well, is actually progressive. So, yeah. Um, I think I covered everything. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. Hell, su suggest my first playthrough. Um, yeah. Thanks. Later.